This video shows how to connect the ScanFob 2002 Bluetooth scanner to an iPad. This also works for the iPhone and iPod Touch. First, charge the ScanFob for four hours until the LED above the button illuminates green. Then, scan the keyboard HID barcode. This barcode only needs to be scanned one time when setting up the scanner. Open the Settings app and go to Bluetooth, then turn on Bluetooth. Scan the Make Discoverable and Connectable barcode. The scan fob should show up on the iPad. It may say Keyboard instead of Scan Fob. In any case, set the scan fob to the right of the page, then tap on the scan fob name. The laser beam on the scan fob will illuminate and immediately you will see four numbers displayed on the iOS device. Here, it's shown pin code 1159. Slide the scan beam left over the one barcode, then away and then back again. Then scan the five barcode, then the nine barcode keeping the scan beam away from any unwanted codes. Scan the end barcode after the numbers. The ScanFob 2002 should beep, and now it's connected to the iPad. This is shown in the iPad Bluetooth device area. Now go to any application on the iPad and scan data. Tap where you want the data and scan the barcodes. Before we do that, we will scan the prefix suffix barcode, then scan the enable iOS keyboard toggle. This will allow us to turn on and off the on-screen keyboard by pressing the small function button on the scanner. Now we'll scan barcodes and they will be posted to the cursor location on the iPad. To reconnect the scanner to the iPad, do not follow the same instructions as the first setup. Turn the scanner off by scanning the Disconnect and Radio Off button, or by holding the small button for about six seconds until the radio makes the off tone. To reconnect, scan the Reconnect to Last Device barcode and wait until you hear the scanner beep, notifying connection to the iPad. Now we will show an alternate way to reconnect the ScanFob 2002 Bluetooth scanner to the iPad. Turn off the scanner Bluetooth by holding down the small button until the radio off tone sounds. Now press the scan button on the scanner with the laser not going over a barcode after about six seconds until the Bluetooth turns on. After a few seconds, the scanner will reconnect. It's as simple as that. Enjoy your ScanFob 2002 barcode reader. Please contact SerialIO.com for more solutions and support. Thanks for watching.